Good morning, everyone. My name is Smiley Stream, and I'm going to do your July the 14th Spiritual Principle Day in a meditation. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in forever. <laughs> well, I'm excited to be with you, so you can tell my voice. Okay, the title of this meditation for today, for the Spiritual Principle of Day, Acceptance and Relationships. Recovery is not always a tidy process. We are building intimate relationships with other people and with a power greater than ourselves. And neither of these comes naturally to all of us. That comes from the Living Clean book, chapter five, opening essay. Before getting clean, a meaningful relationship was one that got us what we wanted. Now, more and more, we find ourselves getting to know and love other people through N.A., sometimes members we never would have expected to connect with. We start by being honest and empathetic with the eccentric bunch of clean addicts we find in recovery. Through working the steps, we also, to our surprise, begin to develop intimacy with a higher power but we don't always know what to make of these new assets. Our lives are surely better with their addition. So we accept these unforeseen gifts, even when it feels awkward. We realize these new relationships can teach us a lot. We make progress, even when it's two steps forward, one step back. Our intentions aren't to cause pain, but sometimes we end up doing just that. We lean it on our sponsor, excuse me, we lean on our sponsor for help and learn to apply spiritual principles. We are starting to accept the fact that we need other people. We also accept our need for restoration to sanity and seek out a power greater than ourselves for help with that. Some of us return to spiritual pra a spiritual practice we grew up with Others discover, define, and create beliefs that work for them. We pray, we listen, and if our heads are in the right place, sometimes we even get answers. One member said, even when I feel disconnected from my higher power, I can still believe that you believe, and some days that's good enough. Relationships with a higher power and other people have rough patches even when we work a program. Our ability to accept ourselves and others helps us learn from challenging relationships instead of running from them. We can stay clean and continue to grow even as our spiritual connections and relationships ebb and flow. When we work the steps, our relationships get better over time, just like we do. Even though it's messy at times, I can give myself credit for how far I've come in learning to build relationships with others and with my higher power. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the reversion of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Acceptance and relationships. I think, you know, the basic text says that relationships tend to be a huge stumbling block. We place unrealistic expectations on ourselves and others. That's a hard statement to accept, but it's reality, isn't it? We all know that we have relationships that we would technically consider beautiful, excellent friendships, relationships that are exceptional to say the least. 
And sometimes you will hear a person say, we have never had an argument. But that doesn't mean they have never disagreed. That doesn't mean they have never taken a hiatus from one another. They have. They most absolutely have. It's difficult sometimes to be present all the time in a relationship. It's like anything else. There will be ebb and flows, good days, bad days. There will be times when you're ebbing and flowing in a positive way with your sponsor. Then there'll be other times you can't stay in your spot. And the suggestions make absolutely no sense. And I refuse to do that. Even though you say you will, you know in your heart you're not going to do that. So even those types of relationships that we sought out, a person became your sponsor because you asked them to be. Even in those relationships, there can be times when things just aren't clicking with one or the other person. So when we hit these rough patches, this is an opportunity to apply the spiritual principles that we've developed over time. This is a time when we can say, okay, I'm not feeling this right now, but I know that feelings do pass. And I will give myself some time to not react to this feeling. How about that today? When it comes to acceptance and relationships, we know that it's not always nice and neat and tidy. Right? Recovery is not like that. There's going to be some hurdles to overcome, some rough patches, some messy spots. But let's make the commitment today that no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, I am not going to allow my old character defect to take control of the situation. Fear, anger, resentment, those, you know, pride. I'm not going to allow those to rear their ugly heads and say, you know, well, you don't need that person anyway. You don't need recovery anyhow. You don't need your sponsor anyhow. I'm not going to do that. Today, let's not make things more awkward just because we're not feeling great about something. Let's continue to walk in maturity and walk in those spiritual principles that we have developed. I mean, if you can't throw them off now, what good are they? When, when everything is going good, some of those spiritual principles that we have developed, we don't need them when things are going good. We need them when things aren't going so great. And that's the time to let those spiritual principles, those positive things, flex their muscle. That's when we need them the most. So let's apply them. And even though recovery is messy at times, relationships are messy at times, give yourself credit for how far you have come in learning how to build relationships with others and with your higher power. Don't back away from what you've established. You've learned these spiritual principles. So let's move forward with acceptance and apply them. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you will really think about this meditation. Really, don't let it just be words that go in one ear and out the other. Think about this meditation and how you can apply it today. Think about a few people that you need to apply it to and then just do it. Do better in those relationships right after you finish listening to this meditation. And that is a part of having a great day on purpose. Talk to you soon.